Hi, my name's Ivan and I sit on the Co-op Young Members Groups, which aims to ensure that the voices of young people are heard within our business. And I also sit on the Co-op Group's National Members Council. This is a really exciting time for our Co-op as we've reintroduced ourselves to the millions of member owners all across the United Kingdom. I wanted to find out more about what being a co-op is all about. So I'm catching up today with Rose Marley, the Chief Executive of Cooperatives UK, the network for Britain's cooperative movement. So Rose, for those who may be new to this, what makes a co-op a co-op? Thanks, Ivan, and thanks for asking me to join you today. So um, a cooperative is an organisation uh, that is owned and controlled by its members. So those members could be tenants of a housing association, fans of a football club, um, consumers of a supermarket. But key to a cooperative is the fact that it is owned and controlled by its members. There's lots of different types of co-ops across the UK, in fact there's 7,000 of them and actually worldwide there's 3 million co-ops now across the world. Um, and what's really exciting um, for us here in Greater Manchester at uh, Cooperatives UK is here is where that worldwide movement started. The values and principles that we recognise for cooperatives now were first started 180 years ago in Greater to Manchester by the Rochdale pioneers and that's where Co-op Supermarket came from and indeed Cooperatives UK. Thanks for that Rose and that is quite a lot of co-ops. Could you tell me a little bit more about these co-ops? Yeah, hopefully you, if you're on this call, you'll already know about uh, co-op uh, the supermarket. But as I said, this fan-led football club so here in Greater Manchester. We've got FC United and Withinshaw FC, uh, both fan-led football clubs. Bath City FC, for example, nationally. Lots of housing co-ops. So I recently visited uh, West Grantham Housing Co-op up in Edinburgh, which was a, a fantastic co-op, which is pretty much owned uh, and controlled by by the tenants of the housing association themselves. We've got big household names as cooperatives uh, in your everyday life. So John Lewis being another example. And any of those that use, for example, Craven Dale Milk, that comes from Isla Cooperative. That's one of the biggest agricultural co-ops we've got here in the UK. There's also lots of community co-ops and uh, community benefit societies and pubs that are operating as co-ops. So really, it is quite uh, vast um, and often you don't know that something is actually a co-op until um, you find out from organisations like ourselves. And that's one of the challenges that we've got. Uh, next year is the UN year of the cooperative. And a big thing that we'll be asking all our members and supporters to do is to share the news uh, indeed of the co-ops that our members of um, or that they're aware of and really amplify all those co-ops across the UK. So thanks for that, Rose. And um, where does our co-op fit into this international movement? So Co-op Group is a member of Cooperatives UK and Cooperatives UK is a member of the International Cooperative Alliance. And because those modern values and principles of cooperation were indeed started in the UK, we're very influential on the international stage. So we have a UK um organisations and representatives on the International Cooperative Alliance Board. Uh, feeding into that, we also have uh, Cooperatives Europe. We have organisations like CCOPA and CCOP, which are around worker and industrial co-ops. So co-op group forms this incredible movement across the world, of which is now a billion members of co-ops across the world and a really thriving community in all territories. Uh, last week when I was at the United Nations in New York, I was joined by cooperatives from Brazil, Argentina, Belgium, France, Germany, North America, throughout the whole world, the cooperative movement's really strong, but co-op group is really seen as significant because, like I say, the Rochdale pioneers founded those original values and principles. In the UK, there are also other cooperative supermarkets which co-op group uh, supplies food into. So sometimes uh, in the UK, you might see different signage than the um, blue uh, clover that we all know and love. Um, and you've got, for example, Central Co-op, you've got Mid County, his co you've got Scott Mid up in Scotland, you've got Heart of England co-op. So co-op group fits um UK is kind of uh the you know the supermarket that 
and, and obviously there's also other services which you're aware of, but in terms of the actual supermarket itself in the UK, suppliers into all the other uh, independent um, co-ops, and then internationally, all of those co-ops come together with Cooperatives UK, and we're a member of the International Cooperative Alliance. Rose, thank you so much for that, and thank you for helping me to understand a little bit more about the cooperative movement, the different kinds of cooperatives that exist, the origins of our co-op, and how we are part of this wide international movement. It is really good to know that we are part of something that continues to make a huge difference across the world.